home again. Uh -huh. Good afternoon, y'all. We just got back inside. Well, me and Manly just got back inside. Jonah and Cece were in here building ramps for toy cars. I took Manly outside for a little bit and then I was cleaning up the back porch because I wanna cook breakfast on the Blackstone in the morning. I mean, the wind's gonna blow leaves and different things back in there probably by morning, but I just like for it to be straightened up out there when I go out there to cook. Kinda like how you want your kitchen clean in the morning. Right now, I'm starting some black eyed peas in the Instant Pot. These are dry black eyed peas. I just rinsed them. Now I'm gonna put some water in there with them. So we have some of the pulled pork left from supper last night. We're gonna have that with the black, I'm probably just gonna have black eyed peas, cornbread, and collard greens. That's probably what Titus will have too, but we have pulled pork if the kids want any of that. And I'm gonna see what kind of chicken I have. I think I have some chicken strips or something that I'll put in the oven for anybody who wants some chicken. Sealed, 45 minutes. Lovely. Afternoon popsicle dance going on back there, y'all. We are loving those Mommy, outshine Mommy. bars. They are so good. Even the grape one, like it does not taste like a grape popsicle. It tastes like grape juice and somehow it's creamy. It almost tastes like a grape juice ice cream bar thing. <laughs> Next, we're gonna try the peach and the strawberry. Oh, thank you. Piece of a crayon. <laughs> Somebody forgot we only draw on paper today, didn't they? He colored on my little side table right there. It came off, but yeah. I was helping the other kids with their schoolwork and he was having art class to himself over there on the side table. Y'all call it side table or end table. I thought we were gonna have a day with no rain. I don't even check the weather anymore. Mm -mm. I just look out the window like the old days. The peas are gonna take about an hour and a half. So I won't start the collards until about 30 minutes before these are done because that's just, we, don't, we only like for ours to cook for about 20 to 30 minutes. We have about an hour before we have to start cooking everything else. So we're gonna make these donuts. I think I'm gonna make some breakfast quesadillas in the morning. So we'll have some fun little donuts to go with them. These are donuts. The berry got some holes. Yeah, that berry has some holes. Yeah. Got it? Here's a whisk for Sissy. Uh, we need one egg. I yeah. need two eggs. Here it comes. Woo! Let's right here, Mama. Okay. Huh, huh? Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Good job. Now we need three tablespoons of vegetable. Here's the milk, Sissy. Sissy, you put chocolate in here. Oh. <laughs> Do you need oil, Sissy? Uh, no. Oh, did I turn the oven on? Let me turn the oven on. Can you hold the bag down like that? We're gonna put our batter into the bag. There it goes. Okay. Now we just pop the mix in here. This doesn't really smell like pumpkin, does it? Yeah, it smells like gingerbread. So we'll do six pumpkin ones, six chocolate ones, and then we'll bake the other six of each hey. one after that. Let me help Cece put her chocolate mix in here. Now we just put both of these pans on this baking sheet and they're going in the oven for 10 minutes. All right, y'all, I'm not sure how the pumpkin spice donuts are gonna be, but the glaze, no, no. It, it tastes like black licorice. That's what it tastes like. I'm not sure what they did there. We're gonna make our own glaze for the donuts. <laughs> Hopefully the donuts are good. Like I said, they smell like more like gingerbread than pumpkin spice. Yeah, so we're just making our own with a little powdered sugar and cream here. I'm glad we tasted that before we put it on all the pumpkin spice donuts, just in case they are good. That would have ruined them. Well, I mean, unless you like white licorice, then, then you would like it. on the donuts. 
We went ahead and tasted one of the pumpkin ones so we could tell y'all if they taste like pumpkin or gingerbread. They totally taste like gingerbread. I mean, there's like a little hint of pumpkin there, but they taste so much like gingerbread. I'm really wondering if they got their mixes mixed up at the Great Value Factory. <laughs> they really taste like gingerbread, but they're good. They're good with that homemade glaze. I don't think it's gonna dry as good as the other kind would have, but that's fine. strip the leaves off the stems. We actually kind of like the stems, so I'll leave some of that on there. I'm going ahead and putting some in the pot over here as I cut it, that way it can go ahead and start cooking down. All I put in with the collards, uh, this time is a little bit of bacon drippings, but they're also really good if you cook them with some ham. They didn't have any of the bottoms on the collards at the store. They had them already cut from the bottoms and just tied around with a rubber band. But I was gonna plant the bottoms because a few of y'all told me about Brenda, I think you say her last name Gant. I might be saying her name wrong, but she showed in one of her videos the other day that you can plant the bottom of the collard greens and just like the green onions will do, the collard plant, it'll start growing more collards if you plant that. Cornbread is done. We're gonna go ahead and put some butter on top. All right, I cut up some tomato, cucumbers, and onions. We have the cornbread, chicken fries, collard greens are just about ready, and the black eyed peas are done. It's supper time. Covered the donuts with some plastic wrap and I just left them on this parchment paper on this little tray here. I had the leftovers over here cooling down. We had some black eyed peas left, some collard greens, and a little bit of cornbread. Peas still feel pretty warm so I'll let them keep cooling down before I cover them and put them in the refrigerator. So yeah with the donuts I'm gonna make breakfast quesadillas in the morning. I already have some cheese shredded up in the refrigerator. I could go ahead and slice up that watermelon, but I think I'll just wait and do it in the morning because I just don't really want to get all sticky from the watermelon juice right now. <laughs> it's like combining the last days of summer with fall with the watermelon and the pumpkin donuts. <laughs> We're transitioning. The fall decor is coming out sometime this week, y'all. Get ready. Thank you. 